Right guys, this is it. First event, first pro event for about six and a half years. I've just come down to my local driving range, which is a facility I've been using quite a lot. So this is called Hart Common Golf Club. So I've joined as a practice member here. So I'm gonna use this facility quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna hit just 20 balls, go through a similar routine that I went through yesterday. It takes me into about 20 minutes to get to Shore Hill, which I'm hopefully arriving for about half eight for a tee off at quarter past nine. Feeling all right, feeling all right so far. Nervous, excited, but feeling okay. So I'm loose, ready to go. I've got uh, Rob Potter on the bag. I'm excited, finally here. Everyone's on the putting green putting. I'm about half an hour before my tee off, so I'm gonna quickly sign in, do 10, 15 minutes of putting, and let's go. Do a video. Familiar face? Too many. Yeah, and another <laughs> familiar face. Hello. What a name? A familiar face to him, but not maybe to many, is Brett. Hey Brett. Hello. So hey Brett. Brett is we're we all in blue. Yeah. Team blue. Team blue. Uh, we said it was a team event, so didn't we? Caddy's matching. Best two from four. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just on the putting green. Uh, players are starting to see off. We're second out, aren't we, Pete? We are. And we've got one other player to play with, but I don't know who he is just yet. Not cool. uh, Rob's caddying for me. Out of retirement. He is. And Brett is caddying for Pete. And me and Pete are playing together. <laughs> It's, it's weird, isn't it, how the very first compact got actually playing together. It's kind of sad, really. It's just socialised more. I did ask. I did request. <laughs> so please put me out with Pete. I'm only playing if. I'm oh, this is my this is my rider. I want pink pink skittles and only play with Pete. Right, we're just about to tee off. So the next time you see me, I'm either going to be smiling or I'm going to be unhappy. We shall see. Stay tuned. Wish us luck, and we'll see you on the other side. So we're uh, currently halfway around. So-so, uh, feeling a little bit tentative on a few things. Nerves are kicking in. What? Oh, he's not. And uh, just waiting for a group. We've just, uh, he's just a bit of a bad shot actually. So we're just waiting for that. And uh, a bit unlucky really. Hit the trees and not come out. So stay tuned to the end of the round, see if I can fight back to get back to a respectable score. Okay, all done. Just needed a, uh, a minute or two just to gather my thoughts and be able to actually speak on camera again. It's alright mate, you, thought, I, you know what I thought you actually, I thought you played a hell of a lot better than I thought you would do for your first event back. Mm. I was quite happy actually, I was, I was feeling alright about things. Is it, is Very it, tentative with my putting. Yeah. I, I don't know, I thought you put it alright. Yeah, there was just a few that I was just a bit tentative with. I wasn't going for it. And then just the last couple of holes. Well, that's what did it for you, it was only those last. So it was we we ended up with the same score. We both shot 77. Uh, very different 77s. We've just, we just waved at someone random. I thought that was someone else. <laughs> we just waved at someone random. He's like, what the hell? Uh, yeah, so a couple of 77s, five overs. Just, yeah, learning, learning, learning. So, Pete. I'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow. We've got a bank. See you in the morning, yeah. Meeting in the morning. Um, so, yeah, just a bit of an, a weird day. Let me get my car so I can really tell you what I think. Uh, I don't know. I'll text you later. Okay. I don't know what time it is. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so, it was him. It was all him. 
<laughs> yeah, bit frustrating, but that's fine. You know, it is a learning curve. I can't expect to go out and shoot fantastic. Not that I was going to break the course record, not that I was going to shoot the best score ever, but I just felt there was something in there. Through 16, I missed a short birdie put on 16, which would have got me to one over with an easy par 5 next and an easy par 4. So felt positive that I could even get it back to level par. And then missed the pot on 16, a bit silly, but it's all right. It's not the end of the world. And then 17, I took it on a line I thought was safe and found out it was an internal out of bounds. Now, I didn't really know about it, but also should have known about it. So I can't kick myself too much because I should have known that. I had to go back to the tee, play three off the tee. I had a good opportunity, a very good opportunity for birding it in my second hole, therefore creating a six. Just missed it for six and then scored a seven. And I was just like, ouch. So I went from two over to four over. And then just, I don't know, I need to learn to hold my motion a bit better because I really I felt like a three shot swing for me there. Last hole, I just tried to smash a driver, put it in, not trouble, but not the safest place in the world. Had to kind of pitch it under some trees. Got on the green, two putted five. So, five over. It was okay. It's a start. I'm going to get back home, get it on game golf, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the stats and what I can improve on for next time. Because that's the important bit, is what I can improve on next time. Guys, thanks for staying with me. Hopefully, you still uh, you still love me and I've, I've done you okay today. It was okay. wasn't quite right but it was okay i felt like i hit some really good shots stay tuned we'll have a look through the stats and see what i can improve on next time all right so we've uh i've put it all in game golf you know, like i say you can find me at rick shields pga just give it a search uh this is my score first tournament at Shaw hill hotel golf and country club uh choose the first september you can kind of if you've not seen this you can zoom in and actually look at all the shots that i hit how far I hit them, what that, well, the, the curve of the line isn't the actual shot shape, that'd be a bit clever if it was, it's just the uh, bit of graphics going on. So, interesting, after kind of reading through it, all these are the scores on the actual hole. Uh, finish five over, couple of doubles, one on eight and one on 17, couple of birdies, couple of bogeys. Now, five over, 77 score, I'm going to show you what, how this compared to yesterday in the practice round as well. So fairway accuracy was, was 43%. Greens was 72%. Puts per hole was 1.89. And scrambling was 20%. Just two bad holes in my opinion today that cost me dearly. Out of bounds, a lot, um, internal out of bounds on 17. Silly, silly, silly shot. Didn't realise if I'm... Truth be told, but still a silly shot. An eighth hardest hole on the golf course. Tried to play a silly shot when I was stuck behind some trees. So if I just show you this now, my rounds. Okay, this is this is the practice round yesterday. Played off the same tees. Now the only big th difference was the greens were much faster today. They'd obviously been uh, cut down. They were much much faster today. Scores. Yesterday was one over. Today was five. Okay, practice round and nerves and everything else. But after that, so today I hit more fairways. I did hit driver really well. I've been really working hard on a fade golf shot at the moment. And guess what? I can actually hit a fade. My misses were much, much better today. Greens were up compared to yesterday. I hit some lovely iron shots, I must admit. I mean, it wasn't the longest course, but I hit some lovely iron shots. Putting and scrambling really let me down today. I was tentative, I was guiding it, I was I was lagging a lot of long putts. See I was just I was just very kind of nervous and edgy on putts. I was trying to not not maybe not three putt. No, I was trying to guide it to the hole where I needed to attack more, more positive putting. Greens were fast, greens were slick. My caddy Rob Potter, fantastic reading of putts today. He's done Aim Point Express, and that is something I really need to look into. Um, but I wasn't hitting them hard enough to control that line. I was dilly, I was just soft, 
softly, softly, like just trying to lag putts. And I think it was more the fear of making bogeys than it was of trying to make more birdies, which I definitely need to get out of out of my mindset. I really do. Um, I say a couple of just dodgy holes, eighth and seventeenth, where um, eighth was a bit of a silly one where I just tried to take a shot and I didn't need to. And seventeen was a miscalculation on my part. Um, I need to control my emotions a bit better as well. Seventeen affected me. It, it like it, it wound me up, and it, it, it can't let that happen. I need to just put that behind me and don't think about it. I need to be positive and think about the future because the very next hole, the eighteenth, I bogeyed it, and I didn't need to. I could have parred that dead easy, but I was wound up. I was annoyed, and I need to need to not let that happen. That's really important. Um, I felt like I learnt loads today. First competitive round of golf that I've had for about six and a half years. Felt very nervous on the first tee. In fact, petrified on the first tee. I was happy that I hit a really nice first tee shot. Nearly drove the green on the first. Not a long hole, but I hit a hybrid almost side of the green. It's not the most challenging course in the world. And as a bit of a benchmark, the leader, the winner, was six under. Six under gross. So effectively, we were 11 shots behind the leader. Myself and Pete Finch both shot 7-7. Seven, seven. We were 11 shots behind the leader. Now, if you ask me, could I find 11 shots today? No, I don't think I could. I don't think I could improve my score today by 11 shots. I didn't make that many mistakes. So that's how much I need to improve by. I need to re And this guy who won, he's played in the open before. So he's a good benchmark. Um... I found the whole situation quite clicky today. The first PJ event felt very clicky. Everyone kind of knew each other. Everyone had played in other events, which is fair, fair enough. Myself and Pete kind of rock up <laughs> um, with video cameras and our caddies. So it was a, it was an interesting reception. It was a, a frosty reception i think is a good word so hopefully we should make some friends and we start to learn a lot more people who the other, the other pros are in the region uh, so that we can uh, kind of get on with people a bit more um looking forward to the next event so i've signed up for the well me and peter both signed up for the uh, next event which is monday the 7th of september i'm really going to learn uh, work on my short game and be more aggressive in tournament putting that's the big thing is put myself under pressure when i practice and become a lot more aggressive rather than just trying to guide it there today i could have been so much more aggressive i, I did hit some beautiful iron shots some really nice drives i did i having this idea of trying to fade the ball i hit some beautiful drives i really did so my fairways were you know 43 percent. that's great for me Greens in regulation, 72%. That's really good. You know, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Putting is okay. Scrambling was dreadful. I need to get better at up and down in, when I miss the green. Um, and then just, just silly mistakes. Silly shots that I shouldn't have played. But you, you know, it's a learning curve. You know, it is. I want to get out there and I want to make sure that I'm learning all the time. Picking up information when I play. Making sure that next time I play, I don't make these silly mistakes again. Controlling my emotions. Being more aggressive. All these things I'm gonna I am gonna learn and, and using stats like using game golf and just having you there, you know, reminding me of all this is what's gonna be key. And it is, you know, this is daunting task. You know, we're putting ourselves out there, we're telling the world what we're shooting. It I was quite happy today because I didn't feel that too much. I didn't feel too much under pressure. Uh, probably just because I was hitting the ball quite nicely. Um so next tournament, Monday the seventh of September. We're going to do a practice round before we go and play. It's at Bolton Old Links, golf course I've played. Um, not sure if Pete has yet. We had a discussion after. I'm not sure if he's played it or not. So stay tuned. Guys, thanks for watching as always. Don't forget you can check out my game uh, of golf on Game Golf. Just search Rick Shields PGA. Keep up to date with us on Twitter and Instagram and on Facebook. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any, uh, any content that we're going to produce. Um, not a bad start. I'm okay with that. I'm pleased with that. It was okay. Only things can get better. Guys, thanks for watching as always. Stay tuned. Thanks for all your messages and support today. It was massively uh, helpful. It really did help me uh, kind of get G'd up for this event today. Guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.